Good morning. I just woke up like five minutes ago, came downstairs to make some coffee nice. and got some water. I didn't drink all of this right now. This is just left over from yesterday. And I am counting the coffee. Last time I made all you can eat, I mean, <laughs> all that I, <laughs> what I ate in a day, somebody made a comment and said, coffee's a liquid, you don't eat coffee. I eat coffee. You're just not having coffee the way I have coffee. No, I'm just kidding. I just have enough coffee where it makes a dent in my caloric intake, so I'm counting it. It's something. And then I'll be refilling this later in the day. I'm not one of those people that takes track of the water they drink in the morning. I don't have a certain amount of water I drink every morning. I just felt like I needed water, so I'm drinking water. Ah, refreshed. This is actually monk fruit. It says stevia, but I, I just like this container, so I refilled it. I'm kind of on a plastic issue right now, though, so I should probably get a non-plastic container. But this is what I have for now. Monk fruit. So I have a large mug. recently acquired a scale to measure foods. Um, do I recommend that everybody uses a scale or tracks their food to that degree? No. Some people will take it too far and it's just not healthy. I've, I can, don't worry about me though. <laughs> I am going to do one serving, 170 grams. I'm sweaty right now, if you can't tell. I was running around for a second. Not actually running, but you know, figuratively. Okay, went, it went a little bit over, but it's fine. Oh! I just hit my tooth. That's really scary. One time I chipped my front tooth on a peach. I am a sensitive baby. And then one serving of honey. Yum. I just finished my yogurt. <laughs> Essential amino acids. Girl of mine, code beef. This is actually my first time having this flavor. I had the peach mango one previously. Wasn't really my favorite, but I like this flavor in the pre-workout slash nitric. So, we'll see. This is a fresh canister, so I gotta fish out the scoop. Something's in the way. No, God, please, mm -hmm. no. I'm gonna do one scoop. I missed! So talented. Yeah, 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 Look at this. Holy shit! Yeah, this flavor is way better. The other, the mango peach flavor, or whatever it is, I actually like it in the pre-workout, but for some reason, for the EAAs, it was just not sitting well with me. So, lemon lime, delicioso. Hibiscus mint sparkling tonic. This is my first time having this. This is just for enjoyment. Contains 1% juice. Sus. Ah. Not very good, but I'm gonna finish it. Got my chicken. Sprayed the pan with 
ham, red pepper flakes. And someone was telling me I should season it like outside of the pan so I get it better seasoned. I don't care that much. Ooh. Salt. There's not really any like certain kind of seasoning that I use. I just look inside my cabinet and decide on a whim. Italian. Mamma mia. That's a tasty chicken. Okay. Yeah. Let that cook up. It's done. Okay, the final product that I scrounged together, six ounces of chicken, two tablespoons of barbecue sauce, a cup of cooked vegetables, and the rest of my Triscuits, which is about six. Bum ba da bum. Getting ready to go to the gym. It's benching today. Got my water and my nitric because I have a lot of coffee as we have seen. One scoop. I want two scoops, but I'm running awfully low. Yikes. Yummy. Just finished my workout. It was an okay workout. I benched, did some benching accessories. Uh, did the Stairmaster for 30 minutes. At seven for 20 minutes and then, or maybe it was six. Six or seven for 20 minutes and then two for 10 minutes and then stretch. I pulled my hamstring, so I'm really suffering. But now I'm gonna have this Bear Bells protein bar. This is a new flavor. I I mean, a new flavor for me. I've never tried it before. I don't know what creamy crisp is supposed to mean, so I don't know what it's even supposed to taste like, but it looks good. It looks extra crispy. It's coconut, I think. Tastes like coconut. I like it. You know, I don't know. I don't see coconut flavor anywhere in here, but it tastes like coconut to me. I'm pretty hungry. Like extra crisps at the top. Okay, I just took a shower. Um, while I wait for my hair to dry, I guess let's talk about some things. I do track and measure a lot of my food, not all of it. Like if I'm out at a restaurant or something, obviously I'm just gonna eyeball that. Do I think everybody should be tracking and measuring to the degree that I do that? Not necessarily. For some people, it can be very helpful. I think a lot of people either over or underestimate how much they're eating. So tracking, at least even for a little while, can be pretty beneficial just so that you actually see how much you're eating. Because if I don't track, I probably not get enough protein, but I might get a lot of carbs and a significant amount of fat just because naturally I'm going to gravitate towards basically just eating like cake. If I was just going to eat how I eat, I wouldn't eat a lot of protein. So I track to make sure I get enough protein because otherwise I know that I will not. But even then you don't really have to track. It can just be helpful. I did used to work with some dietitians and their goal was to get me eating intuitively. So intuitive eating is basically listening to your body and honoring your hunger cues and eating things that sound good to you in that moment and understanding what hunger feels like and what fullness feels like and being able to start and stop at the appropriate times. A lot of people actually are not really in sync with their body. So even when my goal was to just eat intuitively, those dietitians had me track for a little while and measure just so that I was able to see and meet my goals. And eventually I was better able to eyeball things and then just kind of go more free and be able to leave stuff on the plate or get more if I needed more things like that yeah so I don't know I just wanted to throw that out there also circling back to the tracking and stuff I don't think it's inherently unhealthy I think it can become unhealthy once tracking becomes stressful like if you go out to eat 
or you go to some activity and you're stressed about the food and you're stressed about knowing what's in the food and being able to measure the food and it causes you anxiety, I think that's really unhealthy and that's when you should take a moment and think and reassess like, hey, am I doing okay? Because at that point it might be just not healthy for you at the moment. So you might want to step away from doing that and kind of focus on something else, like your mental health. Just an idea. Obviously, can't force anyone to do anything. And if somebody doesn't want help, they're not going to get help. But I think I'd just throw that out there. Um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> so I'm debating between having one of these turkey stuffed bell peppers. But I feel like that's not fun because <laughs> I didn't make it. But I don't want to make anything. I want to have his chicken. I'm going to make something. This apple in the meantime. Uh, I found this pasta that I forgot that I bought like a really long time ago. I actually am not a fan of pasta, but when else am I going to eat it, you know? So, pasta! At this point, I decided I was gonna do a voiceover, but right here, I had forgotten to press record. I was so upset. So here, I'm making the sauce. I used two ounces of Greek yogurt, some parsley, and some Italian seasoning. Then, I started to prepare some vegetables. I had garlic and broccoli. I think it was like four ounces of broccoli. If I do believe correctly. It was like low-key a lot of broccoli though. I didn't measure in a cup. I measured on the scale. I cooked that in the pan. I just put some salt on it. Just cooked it in the pan. Then my pasta was done. So I combined it in the sauce. Added some nutritional yeast. About two tablespoons worth. Mixed that in. I don't think it would have made a difference if I mixed that in before or after, but I just happened to remember it after. Then I combined the vegetables and the chicken and mixed all of that together. I guess you don't have to mix it if you don't want and it doesn't really make a difference. Then I enjoyed and it was scrumptious. Another note I would like to add is I feel like a lot of people believe that tracking is inherently restrictive, which is not the case because it's kind of getting late right now. And if I had been left to my own devices, I would have just gone to sleep, but I haven't eaten quite enough today. So if I wasn't tracking, I would have just not eaten enough you see what i'm saying anyway i'm making a smoothie or a protein shake if you want to call it that i also got this recently yeah the macros on it is it's like basically heavy cream but i'm really interested in it and i feel like it will make my smoothie a little bit better it's rose water yogurt drink I don't think it's gonna make this better, but I like the taste of it on its own. I actually did decide to add a little bit. I'm trying to make this thick and creamy, but I can never do it right. Anyway, this is half a banana, a bunch of ice cubes. They were all weird sizes, so it's like seven, but some of them were like this big. Um, one scoop of vanilla protein powder and a little bit of this, and then a little bit of water. We'll see. It's really very delicious. Much better than my ones made with just water and banana and protein powder. Pretty good consistency. Kind of like a milkshake, but not quite so sweet. And I think, I was thinking about having some chocolate, but I'm kind of over it right now. So I think I'm just gonna call it a night. Okay, bye.